Esophageal cancer staging using the American Joint Committee on Cancer Staging System is a standardized method for classifying the extent of esophageal cancer within a patient's body. It categorizes cancer based on the characteristics of the primary tumor, involvement of nearby lymph nodes, and presence of distant metastases. TX means that primary tumor cannot be assessed. T0 means there is no evidence of primary tumor. Carcinoma in situ written as TIS means that there is high-grade dysplasia, indicating abnormal cells present only in the innermost layer of the esophageal lining. T1 means that the cancer has invaded the lamina propria or submucosa, the first two layers of the esophageal wall. T1 can further be subclassified into T1A and T1B. In T1A, tumor invades the lamina propria or muscularis mucosae. In T1B, tumor invades the submucosa. T2 means that the tumor has penetrated the muscularis propria, the deeper muscle layer of the esophagus. T3 indicates that the cancer cells have extended through the esophageal wall into the adventitia, the outermost layer, or invades adjacent structures such as the bronchus, pericardium, or diaphragm. T4 shows that tumor has invaded nearby structures. T4 can further be subclassified into T4A and T4B. In T4A, tumor invades pleura, pericardium, azygous vein, diaphragm, or peritoneum. In T4B, tumor invades other adjacent structures, such as the aorta, vertebral body, or trachea. NX means that the lymph node involvement cannot be assessed, while N0 indicates that there is no regional lymph node metastases. N1 shows that the cancer has spread to one to two nearby lymph nodes in the thoracic cavity. N2 means that the cancer has spreads to three to six regional lymph nodes in the mediastinum or adjacent to the trachea or bronchi. While N3 indicates that the cancer has metastasized to more than seven lymph nodes beyond the mediastinum, including those in the upper chest above the collarbones or near the neck. M0 indicates that there is no distant metastases. M1 shows that the cancer has spread to distant organs or tissues, such as the liver, lungs, bones, or distant lymph nodes. Accurate staging of esophageal cancer using the AJCC system is essential for developing personalized treatment plans, evaluating prognosis, and facilitating communication among healthcare providers. It allows for the selection of appropriate therapeutic strategies, including surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy, tailored to the individual patient's needs and disease characteristics. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on health.